this week on the Socratic Cinema Podcast. I was actually having a conversation about Tom Holland today. Oh, dude, they uh, need to fire his agent is what they need to do. <laughs> like, he just plays the same character in every movie where he's like, oh, man, uh, sir, I, I don't know, sir. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't eat people jerky. Um, so... That's a I brave have, opinion. Yeah, yeah. I did really enjoy the catharsis of the penis bite. I thought that that was fun, uh, uh, enjoyable. Uh, James was so disgusted by my take that he left the Discord call. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of the Socratic Cinema Podcast. I'm Casey Clark. I'm Charlie Heatherly. And I'm James Delisio. This, uh, this episode... <laughs> So sad. <laughs> I, I take, no, I take full responsibility. Um, yeah, and I am sorry to our viewers. Yeah, yeah apologize yeah. to um, Charlie and James. Uh, mm -hmm. I was, I had a lapse mm -hmm. of judgment. I was clouded. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, Why were you clouded? Why? What was clouding yeah, your vision? Yeah, could you explain the reason? S uh, Sebastian Stan. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Um, yeah. Tell and, it to the judge. And, and yeah, so but, but if you haven't gotten it yet, we are watching uh, the new movie Fresh that's uh, on Hulu right now, starring Sebastian Stan and oh geez, I'm gonna forget and that her other name. and Discount that other girl, Dakota and Johnson. That, uh, True. No. Oh my gosh. Anyway. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, discount Dakota Johnson. I thought that you were actually pretty No, wow. she was actually really, yeah, she was yeah, really good. Yeah. Really good. <laughs> I actually respect um, her name. Let me yeah. Google Anyways, her name. Daisy Keep going. Daisy Edgar Jones. So yeah. Sebastian Stan yeah. and Daisy Edgar, Edgar Jones, uh, directed by Mimi Cave. Uh, I, I What's just, the I movie feel about? Bad. No, tell it's me what about, the movie's okay, about. Okay, so it's about uh, dating. Yeah? Is that really and, what it's about? <laughs> yeah. That's what... And, but with a splash of cannibalism. Yeah, allegory, Andy. Come on. <laughs> okay, so it's about essentially this guy who he's a serial killer, and he uh, essentially seduces our main character, Noah, into like falling in love with him, going on this trip. But then she ends up waking up in his basement, which is every girl's nightmare. So this, and turns out, he actually has been doing this for years uh, where he just kidnaps women and sells their meat. Yes. It's about cannibalism. Yeah. yeah. And he also eats, eats their meat. Yeah, well. Doesn't this seem like a very disturbing movie to just contemplate viewers? Like just You'd to think, think so. about it in your head. And this is rated R. So yeah, content guess, warning. Yeah. Content warning for real. <laughs> not e okay, not even really that much, but it's, we'll talk about it. Anyway. Well, maybe, yeah. Oh my god! I mean, uh, we'll, we'll get this into guy's it. We'll get into it. But how am well, I the least affected by this movie? <laughs> no, it didn't. Okay, we'll okay. get into it because we're going right into our initial takes. You know what, Charlie? How about you start? Okay, I was the first person to watch this movie out of the <laughs> podcast. <laughs> okay. Let me recount the story a little bit because James okay, is. Yeah, oh, then I'm pulling oh. up the texts. <laughs> Already cracking up. Basically, I watched this movie with my dad. I haven't seen much of my dad during this entire break because he works during the day, as you know, somebody with a job does. So this was like a nice little bonding moment for us. And I was like, let's watch this movie. I'm supposed to watch it for the podcast. It has Sebastian Stan and it's about cannibalism. That sounds super funny. Uh, and we go in, we start watching it. The first 30 minutes of the movie is just like a good rom-com. And we're like vibing. We're like, this is good so far. This is really entertaining. And then 30 minutes in, uh, roll credits, actually. Like legit, they, they do a, a, a uh, like title uh, and then they do all the main credits. And then it cuts to now the movie is a really disturbing cannibalism horror flick where he takes parts of women's bodies and then eats them in front of other women. Uh, and it was just, it made me so uncomfortable, not really because I was watching it with my dad, but just because the subject matter was so just awful. Like, oh my God, it was really disturbing. I hate any of that torture porny kind of stuff. And granted, it's not graphic, but the stuff that you they imply, see anything. You, you don't see anything, but it's just like the implication in your head makes it so awful that I was just squirming in my seat for like, at least a good 20 minutes after the initial reveal and after uh spoiler alert, Sebastian Stan takes the main girl's buttocks. 
Uh, I don't know if I could say the word that they use in the movie, uh, if that would be a curse word or not here. But, buttocks. Buttocks, uh, which yeah. actually doesn't make sense because how would you stand up? Those are sort of important. Uh, but yeah, really disturbing movie, but surprisingly well-directed, well-acted, well-made, and you know, all those other things. So like, even though I had a very visceral bad reaction to it, uh, I think probably I'd give it like a 6.5. I was, I was leaning between that, uh, between a six and a seven. It's just well, like well-made. It's not phenomenal. I wouldn't put this on for friends to laugh at or anything. It's just gross. Uh, interesting. Uh, yeah, no, like even if I was with a group of friends, this is not something I'd be like, guys, look at this stupid movie. Cause it's not ridiculous enough for it to reach that level for me. Uh, it would need to be more explicit in its stupidity, not necessarily its gore. Uh, but yeah, it's just one really bad, shallow allegory too. So that definitely lowers its its rating for me uh, as well. Because it's like technically about dating and whatever, but like not really. It's about, like, it's a cannibalism movie that they packaged in this like societal bow, you know? So yeah, 6.5 is my rating. Fascinating. Mm. Yeah. Mm, that is very interesting. Um, I feel like we'll get to the like gore part because honestly like i personally like it was way more like psychological than actual gore until maybe the last 15 minutes yeah but like and all okay can i can i do my thought, thoughts yet? yeah yet? no yeah okay. yeah go go all on right. james i was you're... gonna throw it over listen, to you listen while charlie was watching this movie he was texting us being like guys this is the most messed up movie i've ever seen this yeah, is so insanely up. dark. This it's is like awful. He's like, I have a high tolerance, and this movie is still messed up. But he didn't. He used the word that starts with an F, right? So I, I, and I was reading these texts. I was reading these texts, and I pooped my pants. I was, I was like, oh no, like I'm not good with horror. I'm gonna die it's not watching horror. this it's movie. It's not scary. Okay, well, listen, you didn't make that clear because I was like, because I was sitting here getting these texts about how you've like, this is the worst movie you've ever seen, like. Oh, it's, I, 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 dude, I couldn't even imagine, right? Like your brain fills in the gaps with the worst possible things. I thought I was about to see some, you know, unspeakable horrors. And then I watched the movie and I was just like, oh, huh. oh yeah. Oh, he's a cannibal. Oh, huh. all right. Okay, cool. You know, like, like my heart rate was, 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 can't it, believe this. It, it did not move. I <laughs> saved you. I saved you from from the awful first impression I got of this. Movie. There was no. Yeah, I mean, I was just like, I think I can handle content or like like events that happen. I just don't like seeing it. And this movie, you don't see any of it. Like bad things happen, but you don't see any of the bad things happen. You just see people being kind of glum about it afterwards. Um, uh, and, and listen, okay, going off the thing, I didn't even find it that psychological. Like, honestly, this movie strikes me as, like, Charlie was talking about how he wishes it was fun. It did strike me, like, it, I would say it was fun. I would say it was like a black, com like a black comedy kind of thing. Like, no. like, sort of, like, here's what it reminded me of, right? Ready for this world-shattering fusion I'm about to make? Oh my god. Um, yeah, go on. On. On, the, on the one hand, you have love hard. What? On the other hand, oh my what? God. you have you what? have oh, you no. have kidding. You that have love like, hard and like... on the other hand, you have get out. And you put them in a blender and you get fresh, but fresh is less than the sum of its parts. <laughs> yeah, the sum of its Jeez. parts being get out and love hard. What an yeah. insane take. I well, mean, you're correct. Like, yeah, like I mean, honestly, yeah. I'm with you, but I hate that you're correct about it. Mm -hmm. And, and I feel insane. Like this movie had a lot it, for a movie called Fresh. It was pretty stale in terms of like plot. Uh, like it's a lot of stuff I've seen before. It's a lot of very very predictable events and tropes and characters that don't have a ton going on. Sebastian Stan and Noah and Sebastian Stan's wife were like the standouts to me. And as much mm -hmm. as I love um, Molly, like the performance that that actress gave, they kind of they kind of black friend troped her. They oh, kind of absolutely, yeah. Hardcore. And that was really really disappointing. Like she's basically just the friend from Get Out, but like a little more screen time. Um, and and so there's a lot that I was disappointed in this movie with. I do think 
Its style was very fun. I liked all the needle drops. Um, I cannot believe I did a backflip when they started playing Dance Till You're Dead at the end. Um, <laughs> that was Heads will roll. Uh, yeah, you know, I'm going to give it a six. A six? Okay. I feel like there's, this film... There's no shot my score is higher than yours on this. This that's, film's that's content, nuts. there was, like, it's nothing special, and yet it never fully committed to any of its bits. And if there's one thing you learn on this podcast is that you have to commit to the bit. So, <laughs> rude. Yeah, that's how I feel about Fresh. Okay. Dang. Okay. Well, um, uh, given Charlie's text, I really felt like I wasn't going to even enjoy the movie. Because mm -hmm. as you guys know, as viewers, I don't necessarily love being uncomfortable. But this oh, movie, shocking. um, it, it really, like, did it, it in comparison to, like, I'm thinking of ending things, it really didn't scratch the surface of uncomfortable for me. Because I feel really? like I was looking at more of, like, the the themes and the crossovers and, like, the connections that they were trying to make to, uh, at times sloppily, the connections that they were trying to make to, like, in life, like real life dating and real life like experiences of misogyny and like all all this uh all this specific stuff. And I was like, okay, like I, I get it. I understand. I will never forgive them for what they did to Molly. Uh she was a real one and she was just <laughs> trying her best. And her they... breast, you mean? Sorry, that was a bad pun. Okay, I I need come some clarification on that later. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, um, I'll, I'll oh. get to why that was a very funny joke after Casey delivers the rest. Oh. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just, I felt like it was, um, like, it, it kind of went to the school of a promising woman. And promising they, young woman? Yeah, a promising young woman. Yep, yep, that's, that's the okay. name of the movie. That's all right. <laughs> Thanks, James. Keep it Are rolling, champ. Are you mansplaining champ. me right now? Keep it rolling, champ. Oh. Yeah. I, okay. I might be. <laughs> <laughs> All right, James, I am and I am James proud of it. lady parts in his fridge. What? That's all. <gasps> never say, never say that again. <laughs> Someone, please clip that and um, send it to me. So I have. I thought because well, you cut out for a second after James has lady parts. And I was like, what? <laughs> no, in his fridge, okay. he has lady parts okay. in his fridge. Not moving on. Not just in general. But yeah, I I feel like later we can jump into some of like the the parallels to actual dating. But overall, I feel like the it was like a a solid seven seven point five. Like oh, what I like, I I'd, I'd show it to other people. I'd be like, oh yeah, like this is like you should watch this. Like, um, not should watch it, but like if you're looking for something to watch, or if you are in a feminism class and you want to make people uncomfortable. Sure. Never would I Watch show this it. in a feminism. This is the <laughs> stupidest allegory ever. Yeah. Are you kidding I, I, me? It's the I most ham-fisted thing. Like, oh, we, so, okay, you come from the, the perspective of, like, all we really care about with women is looks and their bodies. And it's like, okay, sure, good observation. How do you expand that? What if we make it to where they eat the body parts that they like? Like, it's stupid. It's, it's shock uh, value. It's all uh, shock value to me. I don't I think, think it, it works. Has, I think it doesn't have any about, like women are viewed as literal like meat to exploit right, it's objectification yeah. how do you get it's, more yeah. it's built on a pun it's like built on uh, yeah it's like built on it's just built one on thing well i don't know i mean i guess my question is like what would you ha rather them have done i that was a weird sentence but i i i, I don't think, think this is fine. something where i have a rather thing i just think it's a stupid idea like it's just a very shallow allegory like what uh. is there even to explore past the the just like sheer fact that we treat women like meat and therefore we will eat their body parts in this movie. And then I think we that's also it. have the wife. The wife is a very important part of the movie as well because she. Like, oh, that's true. Because I think she that, represents women that like justify men in treating other women horribly. Or who like Even, try and they like game the system, not game yeah, the system. They game but, like, the system. They They're like, play into yeah. it. The enemy of my enemy is my friend or like my enemy. I'm going to be close to them so that they can no longer hurt me, but I don't care if they're hurting other people because they're no longer hurting me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, I think the wife is enough to make it worth 
I, I think she her character adds like a layer of depth that was desperately needed. Overall, it's not a deep movie at all. Like I, I think this is a very it's a very surface level movie. I think the allegory is made very clear. I also think this is one of those movies that like BuzzFeed would just love. You know, this is a BuzzFeed movie for sure. Yeah, yeah, no, no, they they, they for fair. sure love That's it. That's fair. They love it. Um, I want to talk about Sebastian Stan. Okay. I want to talk about that man's hair in this movie. Yeah. Listen, first half. Listen, I love the first half an hour of this movie as a short film. Yeah, actually, legit. it's just great. Nice, nice little meet cute. You don't need a conflict or anything. It's just nice. <laughs> it's like it's it's just yeah, really really great. And and I I like that they wait so long to to get into the the twist i i yes. really like how long mm-hmm. the inter in, in introduction is uh it's like 30 minutes before the main credits drive my car 40 minutes before the main credits that we're in the year of long first acts and i'm okay with it <laughs> i am okay with it it's it's fine i'm okay with it <laughs> Really, I am at peace with it. Um, and I think the first, by the way, the opening credits were just really cool. I like yep. the weird warpiness and the and the music was nice. And, and there's a Radiohead song in this movie. Just had to let you all know that <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you know, the Does the Dog Die website? Yeah. Is Radiohead in this movie dot com. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's all. I just wanted to point out that Sebastian Stan, you know, Looking past the whole cannibalism thing, he's a nice guy in this movie. <laughs> James, um, you, you would be one right. of the women that goes to his house and then gets gets. No, 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 no. I wouldn't. I would. He's I'm, he's really a kind soul. No, you talk that, to him? no, no, no. I would. Here's an actual take. If they made American Psycho today, Sebastian Stan could play. Uh, oh yeah, Patrick Bateman. Oh, I'd love he's, it. Such a I, good, yeah. such a good creepy. You know, I'm really happy to see him in something that's not Marvel. MCU. Because, like, listen, Bucky is one of the characters with probably the most depth in the MCU. Like, I think that character requires a good amount of emotional range. Um, so, like, I, I mean, Sebastian stands a, a good, like, he's a great actor. But I just feel like it, it's nice to see him do some more like artsy projects instead of just all the like big Marvel stuff over and over. So looking looking forward to seeing more from him. I'd like to see more MCU actors sort of use their like like they don't need to take movies for the money, right? Like they can just take fun stuff now. So I I would like to see more of that. Sort of like Tom Holland and Devil All the Time or something. Yeah. <laughs> sure, sure. I was actually having a conversation about Tom Holland today. No, uh, dude, they need to fire his agent. Is what they need to do. He, yeah, no, he he's still too boyish. I think that it's just really hard for him to do serious roles because he just looks so young. And he, and, and here's the thing, is he also plays like I'm worried for him because aside from Devil All the Time and Cherry, I think was the name of the other one. Um, he just plays yeah. like Marty McFly. Like he just plays the same character in every movie where he's like, oh man. Ah, uh, sir. I I don't know, sir. Uh, <laughs> really good impression, actually. That's pretty good. And in, every, oh, and, in, and in every movie, he punches someone, and he's like, "Oh, I'm sorry about that." You know, like he punches the bad guy a little harder than he was intending to, and he's like, "Oh man, I'm so sorry, sir." <laughs> it's, That's a really good. It's like it's not. It's a really bad impression. But it's like, please play so. It's like Ryan Reynolds. You know, play someone else. Ryan Reynolds just plays Deadpool every movie, and Tom Holland is just playing Peter Parker every movie. And and I'm tired of it. But Sebastian yep. Stan has range. <laughs> he does have range. I mean, he was in I Tanya. Like what? Yeah, and Pam yeah. and Tommy. And Pam and Tommy. Like he's okay, I, knew, I know what Pam and Tommy and, is. Booked and busy. I don't know what I Tanya is, but I know what Pam and Tommy is. It's the <gasps> Tanya Harding ice skating like memoir movie where he played the abusive like ex like husband. He played um, opposite Margot Robbie. Yeah, opposite Margot Robbie. Cool. He had a porn stash. True. I mean, mm-hmm. I wouldn't know, but true. Cool. I don't So valid. Oh, I think I've heard of actually. I think I've heard of that actually. Mm-hmm. I, I I remember. I remember. Um 
Yeah, and that's basically my thoughts on that's basically my thoughts on Fresh. Yeah, yeah your thoughts on Fresh is that Tom Holland needs to get a better agent. Yeah. <laughs> this is apparently listen, the content of this cast so far is symptomatic of the film as a whole. There's just not a ton going on. Not a ton going on. This is yeah. true. You know what uh, like, I wished the movie did? Showed, that it, showed it any do, gore? No, do you know Penny? Do you remember Penny from the movie? Yeah. yeah. So do you know how she has a head bandage? Yep. There is a shot in which they pan over from Noah's cell to Penny's cell, and they show her in a head bandage from a like a, an overhead view. Mm-hmm. And the line that Penny says is, I wish I could see you. I thought they committed fully to the bit, and they s- were implying that her eyes had been taken out. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And okay, I can see that. Because, like, from that perspective, you can't see the face at all. Like, you just see the head bandage. And I was like, oh, my God, they actually, like, really took this girl's eyes out for a pun. And in the moment, I was like, that would have been gross. Looking back, I would have appreciated the adherence to the bit. Not the case. She just has a random head bandage on for some reason, Uh, which is weird to me. I wish that they stuck to that, you know, dumb pun, because I feel like that's the type of energy I want from this movie, is if it's meant to be a black comedy, I want it to have stupid, dumb moments like that uh, that that keep me strung all the way through. But uh, going yeah, back to that, to that little pun that I made earlier, the breast pun, uh, uh, here's my yet. theory. Here's my theory. So do you know, uh, uh, what's the name of, uh, of Noah's friend in the movie? Molly. 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 Do you know how Molly... Uh, in the final fight is clutching her chest. No. Yeah. Here's my theory. Yeah. Here's my theory. They show her doing, or they show her being taken uh, to surgery before the dinner uh, between Noah and Sebastian Stan. Mm-hmm. And at the dinner with Sebastian Stan, they eat, uh, like the final course is breast meat. And uh, he says it's from some random girl. Uh, but he hesitates a little bit, and he knows at this point that Molly is Noah's friend, and that he does not want them to interact with each other, which is why he uh, like gags Molly uh, so that she doesn't say anything in the cells. So my uh, theory is that that slice was from Molly, and he made her eat Molly's breast, and that's I, I think you, yeah, I think and because that was going on in my head. Maybe you can understand a little bit of of why I was like ah, ah to this movie. I don't know. Uh, it still doesn't. I mean, yeah. I mean, that's I, an awful concept. There, there, there was a pan to the like singular dark skin leg in the freezer, and I was like, no. no. <laughs> but she still no. had both legs, right? No, she still yeah, had she, both yeah, legs. Okay. So I mean, I guess there was another one some, somewhere along. Oh, uh, he line. seemed to have a pretty. Yeah, I don't know. He had an extensive collection. Yeah, he had an yeah. extensive, uh, extensive collection of of um parts. Pe- people. <laughs> Let people. me just say. That meatball looked good. Shut up. You're chaotic. You're no, chaotic no, force. Chaotic. And, and Why would meatball. you say that? And the pasta was very clearly homemade. Like, Oh, my God. Sebastian, oh my God. He, he didn't lie when he said he can cook. I Listen, <laughs> have you seen – have you <laughs> – have you guys seen on YouTube the the there's this like it always randomly gets recommended to me. It's from the Hannibal Lecter show. Um you know yeah, what I'm talking about. You would be getting recommendations from the Hannibal Lecter show with talk like this. Uh yeah, apparently. Jeez. No, you, I don't even Han- talk like this. You know the Hannibal show with uh Yeah, Mads Mikkelsen. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This video has 20 million views. ASMR Hannibal Lecter cooking. It is one of my favorite videos on YouTube. Oh no. my god, why would no. you admit that on air? It's a clip from the show. It's a clip from the show. It's not like some weird ASMR thing. It's just a clip from the show. I love cooking. Like, we talked about this in Turning Red. I love... I, I, I'm not afraid to admit this on air. He's cooking people, though. But it looks... People. But it looks good. Okay. Oh my gosh. James. I'm not saying I want to try it. I'm not saying I want to try it. Don't tell me you've never wondered <laughs> about what people taste like. Yeah. <laughs> More or less. Okay. I think it's look, 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 I'll admit, James, the food in that movie, because I knew it wasn't really people, still looked good to me. The breast meat didn't look good. That looked gross. No, the breast meat looked like a weird, like, citrus like bisection, yeah. stupid. Yeah. Bad. But the meatball, I laughed at you, 
It looked tasty. I had an impossible yeah, meatball the other day. Mouth. With you shut people. your mouth. Yeah, I knew it, Charlie. It Get on looked, my side here. But I would not watch ASMR cooking videos of somebody cooking. <laughs> I'm going to drop this link in the chat for later. No, I'm not watching it. I, dr good. I draw the line somewhere. It's good. I see, I see why you liked the movie so much. Look now. at him. No, Look literally. at Mads. Look at, they should have put Mads in this movie. Okay, Matt Mickelson, I, I, who? I is a good hot cannibal. All right, I, I understand, but this is ridiculous. Wow, but when I, you know what? I've been holding my tongue, not because I don't want to look like a bad person. What are you about to say right now? I was just—I haven't said the entire episode that Sebastian Stan was hot in this. Well, because yeah. that's like a, that's a given. That's a given. Okay, it's a given, but I feel like a horrible person saying it. Casey, that's low hanging he was fruit. Killing you killing people. <laughs> that's okay. The Winter Soldier also up. kills people. You know what's oh, crazy? Not, not predominantly. No, you know what? You know what's crazy? You know what's crazy? <laughs> not for misogynistic purposes. <laughs> I was thinking about this the other day in Captain America: Civil War. Oh what a, my god. What a messed up movie that is where Iron Man who is right by the way, who has the correct like <laughs> okay. he's on the right side of that issue and then he finds out that Bucky killed his mom <laughs> and then Bucky and Captain America beat him up after he rightfully gets <laughs> upset about it. <laughs> Captain America Civil War is like the saddest Iron Man movie ever. <laughs> Imagine you find out like your best friend's best friend killed your mom. You get mad and they're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Why are you getting mad at us? And then they beat you up. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's hilarious. Bro. It's so sad. I, I, dude, I would qu like quit. But he changed. It, 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 uh, it cost Bucky an arm and a leg. <laughs> no. Oh. no it, if I was, R don't worry, he's got plenty, apparently. If apparently. I, if I was RDJ and I read that script, I would have been like, seriously? <laughs> like, really? This, this, this is, people are like, who won Civil War? Captain America won. <laughs> it's not, yeah. a, it's not close. But, Bro. listen, I don't think it was, I don't. Did we see any other like dishes cooked in this movie? We saw the meatball and the uh, yeah. uh, jerky, people jerky. Yeah, I wouldn't eat people jerky. Um, so that's a I brave have, opinion. Yeah, yeah. No, I liked all the little like scenes of uh, the the various rich Illuminati, you know, whatever's eating the human meat. Um, and there's that one guy who is just like eating it, like off a plate. Well, oh yeah, that, uh, like a ev mutt. Everyone's yeah. eating it off a plate, of course. That was a very non sentence, but yeah, it, it was, was just like ground. Yeah, yeah he was just, like yeah. like eating with his mouth, no utensils. Yeah, it's disgusting. Um, what Gross. was up with the weird like the cam? Sometimes they would have a shot, and the camera would like linger on the like goat head architecture symbol thing. Yeah, that, and I then they never went anywhere with devil. that. I th right, but yeah. is that just like our uh, rich people are evil? Because like they never like Illuminati. Uh, yeah, they never full committed to that bit. Yeah. Well, that's also like, it was giving very like okay, this is a secret sect of people, and like it was but, giving like, very like it was yeah. They already said like they just said that already. Like I I don't know. I guess I just they showed it like so many times so particularly, and then never yeah. like never became a big thing. So I don't. That's know. fair. I, mean, I feel thing. like maybe it's one of those things where it was like. They did what like screenings and they're like, Did you get it? And they're like, No. And they're like, Okay, add, it, add a line where we explain it. And then <laughs> they just forgot. And then they just forgot. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It it was definitely weird. And if the message is meant to be rich people are evil, that's also a I mean, that's a shallow take as well. Like, yeah. It's yeah. not even it's probably it's not a rich they're, they're cannibals. Are... Far from a deep cut for sure. Right. Like, if if you're it, it's not controversial to say the people we have portrayed as cannibals in the movie are probably bad, <laughs> like right. I don't right. think you need to right. I, like if you tell me they're cannibals, I already think they're bad. You don't need to tell me they're like Satanists too. Like, to me, it was an Illuminati. Th like it, it yeah, was like yeah, these yeah, are yeah, part yeah, of the yeah. Illuminati, and, and I thought team. that they were gonna tie that into Sebastian Stan's character. Oh yeah, and, that would have been cool. Yeah, like. I was assuming that maybe the bodyguard would do something. Uh, oh, by the way, can we talk about how useless uh, uh, the bartender was in this movie? Oh, yeah. First of all, well, no. Less but I like him. He, no. No, I like him. 
but like why'd they do them like that <laughs> like, i don't no, know because literally okay this is another thing similarly to the mom he's also like he <clears throat> without his the knowledge mom? sorry not the mom the the wife she is oh, a mom but yeah. the wife yeah she he, do be a mom she do be a mom though um he like didn't know but he was a na- he was an enabler he was a male enabler he pulls up if he had stayed for like two more minutes all of them girls could have gotten his car and been fine but he was like oh self-preservation self-preservation like i blah, 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 blah. and then he pulled out <laughs> i don't blame him <laughs> i don't blame him <laughs> like no but like okay if i i see the tape in in, in in with the context he cares about this girl right he That's she true. goes missing he knows like something's up her location's like weird takes a screenshot of the location doesn't like do anything about it until he goes to check it again and it's like oh nope x location and then again it's not like he's pulling up that night he waits even longer and when he does pull up he doesn't co- even commit to going in and trying to help and find this girl his character really was kind of pointless in the end like he didn't have a like any resolution right. he he was essentially like they set him up to be like oh this male savior and then mm-hmm. he ended up i i can't say that on well, that that's, well that's he thematically ended up missing out. yeah it, it, it's a bad it's subversion of, of the of the male savior trope like bad subversion right. meaning like meaning you should subvert it you should not have a male savior but at the same time it's just like if you're going to subvert it then you should probably do it a little bit more tactfully than just like he exits and there's no point to his character like well, i think i, guess I actually point- like casey's take a lot where he's the enabler right that's interesting yeah. to me yeah, yeah. but like I- inside the setting and the context like number one i don't blame him for running away from gunshots in the woods right i understand but- plus black man i get it <laughs> yeah. well and like plus it. number two he could just call the police after he's gone and after he has service again and be like i heard gunshots in this area and they yeah. would probably go yeah. investigate no i agree with casey's take i i mean i think it's definitely like reinforcing the whole theme of the movie of like you know men can't can't you know don't need no man right like that 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 you know that was i was trying to think of a better way to phrase it but like all that came to mind was men bad which is the worst like that is not what i was about to yeah that's not, well, <laughs> that wouldn't have been helpful casey says wait hold on i think you're actually onto something and then i, I like how uh if at it the walks very like the duck and looks like a duck <laughs> yeah, true i guess <laughs> I, I like the very end, the text from from uh, Chad again. I thought that was a, that was a, super a, funny. Oh, funny that was yeah. Stinger. Yeah, that was nice. Chad's the real villain of this movie. What a jerk! He's oh, awful. Yeah, with yeah. your ugly, ugly sweater. Sorry, not sweater, scarf. What no, he was wearing was don't just drag yeah, innocent no. lives into the movie. Uh, now. Come on. No, no, the scarf was bad, James. Scarf you have to, you have to ugly. accept that. It was egregious. The was scarf. Egregious. Well, it wasn't the best scarf I've seen. But listen, a man who accessorizes is a rare thing on this earth. Okay, you know, fair. I'll give it to you. But when you're bad at accessorization, I call it out. Accessorization. Where's that in the dictionary? Ah, uh, should look it up. Accessorizing. Yeah, it's all right, Charlie. It's okay. You, know, you lost, but it's okay. <laughs> I hate you. I hate you. <laughs> James is the kind of guy to pull up to a date with a turtleneck and a scarf on, and it's like 70 ah, degrees outside. Hey. And a trench coat. Hey. And a trench coat. Yeah, this man needs to accessorize. Um, hey, listen, why don't you accessorize your face? I'll buy you know. some mittens for your birthday. I think that might round out okay. the outfit. I, I was talking to my friend about this movie. I have a new movie review scale uh, that I've been experimenting with, and the way I do it, is I watch the movie, and then I think to myself, hmm, would I have had more fun if I had spent that two hours playing Elden Ring? <laughs> Shut up. And if the answer Enough. is This is a great yes, scale. I love this. Is, is, yeah, I probably would have had more fun playing Elden Ring than the movie does not pass the uh, Delicio Socratic Elden Ring fun test. But, mm-hmm. uh, you know, if the answer is no, then the movie does pass the Delicio Socratic Elden Ring fun test. And it's a really good movie then, because Elden Ring is very fun. <laughs> Elden Ring is very fun. <laughs> so if you can, first off, convince me to turn off the game for two hours to watch a movie, and then I feel like it was worth it, okay, that movie wins, right? That movie's getting a recommendation. And this movie, 
I would have much rather spent those two hours exploring Redmain Castle in the lands between as a tarnished in Elden Ring. But, you know, I just thought I would share my, my new review scale with the with the team here to see if you guys think we should make it a, an official part of the show. Yeah, you know, typically I don't agree with all your review scales and your Delicio Socratic uh, curves, but this one, this one is a great one. Yeah, uh, yeah. Although, like, there's two movies that are more fun than Elden Ring. And because yeah. I, I really and like Elden Ring. Face Off is one of them. And Absolutely. Face Off is both of them, actually. Absolutely <laughs> not. Absolutely not. Both cuts of Face Off. <laughs> one from, I can't, I can't even. Is Okay, I, I have a question for you guys. Is this movie going to be remembered in a month? No. In a month um, by Sebastian Stan stands? Yes. Right. And my question is, like, is anyone going to talk about this? Because, like, a few people talk about it. Well, right it now. depends. Like, if we're looking at it in the realm of a promising young woman, I, it's, they're similar movies. Like, I feel like they might, like, <clears throat> they're movies who they tackle something that is very important and do they do it completely well? No. Like, they tackle it pretty mediocrely. But we talked about A Promising Young Woman for at least a couple months afterwards, and it also got nominated for a couple of Oscars. Is so, Fresh going to be nominated for... No. Uh, yeah. I, I would sooner die than see this movie get nominated okay. for Oscar. It's going to be the Don't Look I, Up of 2022. No. The, oh this movie God, is no. not... It, it doesn't even pretend to be deep enough in order to be the Don't Look Up of 2022. At least Don't Look Up. Like, it, it shows you and keeps reminding you that it should be deep, even though it's incredibly stupid. This movie just doesn't. It, it, it doesn't commit. It doesn't commit. And if it committed, yeah, it would it be better. It doesn't even try to pretend. Um, yeah, I will say this movie, like, gets up on the big diving board and then it, like, climbs back down the ladder and jumps into <laughs> it. <instead of> it. <laughs> That's how I felt about this movie. It, it's, like, crazy, bonkers premise. Doesn't really explore it. Doesn't really do anything crazy. Like, if it wanted to be a horror movie, it should have gone for that. If it wanted to be a political commentary, it should have gone for that. Or social commentary, I guess it should have gone for that. Uh, if it wanted to be a black comedy, it should have gone for that. But it didn't really commit to any one of... I think this movie had a lot of good ideas, but it just didn't commit to any one of them enough. Uh, which is yeah. disappointing, because I think Fresh could have been very fresh and fun. And and stuck out as like a, a sort of satirical, horror, comedy, weird, you know... Uh, like not, yeah yeah i think it could have been something very good and and it just was something very very average like fresh was fine yeah well it, and you can totally commit to multiple of those things at once right like that's yeah. not to say that this movie should have just been one thing and stuck to it it should have just had more conviction in all of the things that it was trying to stick to like Absolutely. i just think of the ending it's just it's just a bad get out it's it, literally it, the it same really ending is. as Get Out without yeah. any of the the tension. Like the reason why Get Out's ending works so well is because there is political tension there. Like our preconceived notions about the police oh. and the way that they treat black people make it so that 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 final moment when the police sirens come on is super tense, right? But here you don't get that same moment. You don't get the the catharsis really to be fair i will say that uh i guess what's the pg way to say this i did really enjoy the catharsis of the penis bite i thought that that was fun ah uh yeah. enjoyable uh james oh, was yeah. so disgusted by my take that he yeah, left the discord he, he call popped out but yeah i i thought that that was really funny even though i did see it from a mile away i saw it like 45 minutes into the movie i was like that's how they're gonna kill him if, if this movie is yeah. about relationships yeah, and cannibalism he's gonna... <sighs> I was like, I'm, and I just got to be ready for for when that happens. Uh, and I was not. I, I also, still cringed in my seat very, yeah. very strongly. I also, can we talk about, well, not even talk about, but I think like we should acknowledge um, Sammy Akbari, the, the mm -hmm. Noah's pro uh, predecessor in Steve's heart the girl that's referenced in the oh, magazine yes oh, and then sure. we also see all of her stuff like later like i just feel like queen we should have gotten a little bit more time with sammy well not like more time with sammy but like <clears throat> just a little i don't know i think the breadcrumbs were enough something i think like, i, I think, don't know i think i just 
I, I'm just interested more yeah, in those it, it aspects is interesting. of the story. And and I would like, you know, yeah, there, there's a lot in this movie that I would have, like, it's a, such an interesting premise. There's a lot that I'd want to see explored. Like, how did Steve get involved in this, really? Or, um, I mean, you get a little bit, but not that much. Or like, right, yeah. just like, hey, man, I like chomping on people. Previous, yeah, previous victims' experiences, blah, blah, blah. There's a lot, there's a lot that they could have done, but, I mean, it was a not a super long movie and i don't think this movie needed no, it didn't to be need much to be longer. any longer i mean it already had a quarter of its runtime devoted to not the plot um well, i mean yeah, the plot but not the main premise um but yeah just a lot of just a lot of unfortunate missed opportunities with fresh um and and i wonder if it's fresh on rotten tomatoes i don't know i'd, I'd have to look into it uh, uh yeah I, I think it is. I think it hovers around like a 60-ish. Yeah, it's 82% uh, on Rotten Tomatoes. Oh, wow. That's higher than it was on other things, I think. Yeah, well, Metacritic, I mean, it's around 65. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 about where I'd put it, as we already discussed. But um, maybe the thing is, this movie works much better if you don't know anything about it going in. Like, if you just know it's a movie called Fresh with Sebastian Stan, then maybe it works because it's so shocking probably uh, and it and that was sort of what happened with me uh but you know i didn't find it shocking in a good way but obviously you can find things shocking in a good way like i i thought that i'm thinking of ending things that's one of my favorite movies i love that movie so much and i had no idea what i was going into when i saw uh, it. yeah it's there's been we've had some really pleasant surprises on on the on the show for sure yeah and and fresh just wasn't one of them it's okay no. Not everything yeah. needs to be a winner or a loser. I, I think <clears throat> looking at their Rotten Tomatoes, I think this review sums it up perfectly. Yeah, take us home. Take us home. Uh, to frame it in Fresh's own language, all we get here is a single bite, not the whole steak. Thank you, Clarice. Mm. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. No, Thank I felt you. that one. And I think with that, that's probably going to bring us to the end of our Fresh discussion. I mean, unless you guys have any other burning burning takes. I, I'm... I'm I'm good. I've made my peace with Fresh. It's not a movie yeah. I ever think I'll think about again, <laughs> to be yeah. all the way honest. But you know that's all right. It's 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 okay. It was it was it was nice while it lasted. This kind is of. true. This not is true. Really. Sorry for no real call to action for you viewers. Typically we go absolutely do not see this or please go see this. It's incredible. But yeah, sometimes movies are just mid. Just gotta see accept it, it. See it if you want. Yeah, yeah. if you're if it interests you. If you're it's like so James and watch videos of ASMR people cooking, then, you know. I am like for it. sure going to yes. make, like, the second yeah. Craig is out of here, they're watching <laughs> that video with me. Um, <laughs> but thank you so much for, for listening to another episode of the one and only Socratic Cinema Podcast, your one-stop shop for fresh commentary. Fresh commentary on fresh movies like Yo. Fresh. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. That's wow. going in the pocketbook. That's great. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> join us next time for a talk about another movie. We release podcasts weekly on Saturdays at 12 p.m. You can keep up with us on social media on Instagram at Socratic underscore cinema and Twitter at Cinema Socratic. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you're on YouTube and hit that bell so you never miss a new episode. Uh, share the podcast with your friends if you think they might be interested. Um, podcasts are great. Podcasts are great. If you have any, if you have any podcast suggestions, drop them down below. I, I'd always love more. And uh, if you want to support us monetarily and get access to episodes early, and ask us questions on the air, and have your name in the description, and all sorts of fun things, you can become a patron at Patreon.com/slash Socratic Cinema. Uh, and you would have had the pleasure of knowing what we thought about Fresh a whole day early, which is kind of a big deal. Um, but with that being said, thank you again. <laughs> oh, he, he nearly made it through yeah nearly hey james there. finish it <laughs> we were my discord like in your absence my discord keeps pooping out yeah pooping. finish the it's, one sentence you had left <laughs> thank you for listening you have my deepest gratitude for being here with us we are socratic cinema viva, uh, viva la fresh no, don't be for the fresh. <laughs>